let's talk about the cost of the high set again because it's kind of a long conversation. There's a lot of stuff to to talk about when it talks about passing, preparing, what to expect, how much will it cost. All right, so you know that there are five parts. We've already talked about that. And I did talk about that you can take this test three times in a calendar year for each section. So that's something to wrap your head around again. So it's not just three times like I got to take one of these tests only three times. You can take math three times this year, science this, three times this year, history, and so on. Now, the cost of the part, of each part, is $17.75. I've mentioned that several times in previous videos per, per each section. So you got $17.75, you got $17.75, you got $17.75, you got $17.75. So all of that added up would give you a total of $88.75. Now, here's the thing. You do not have to buy them all at one time. I have students who take, they work on math for a while, maybe one year, and they take math, and then the next year they take, so it doesn't matter. I have other students who are ready, and they can come in and take math today, and next week they take science, and the next week they take, and so it does, it's really totally up to you and where you are and what you're prepared for. So it's $88.75 if you took them all one time over the course of the entire exam. But you can take them, remember, three times per year. Now, after you take it the first time, you have a $7 retake fee to finish out your three tries. So you'd have two opportunities at $7. So if it, t let's just say that you needed to take math three times. So you would have the $17.75 the first time. And the seven dollars the second two time or the second and the third time, so you would have spent thirty one seventy five per test, okay, for for your math test. Let's just say you you did that for every one of your tests. You took them all three times, okay. And that's it's possible, but it's not real likely. So if you took these. For all five tests, your investment would be $158.75. Now, I have uh, also gotten the question is, who will know what I've, how many times I've taken it? Well, actually, it does not show up to anyone except you on your HiSET account. Can you see your testing history unless you give someone access to that? So remember, the HiSET gives you a high school equivalency diploma and so once you have achieved that if you've passed all of your your test even if it took you 10 years i have several students that have been working on it for a long time 12 years no one will know that you'll just have a high school diploma and when you present it to an employer or uh, if you're applying to a program or whatever all that it says is your name and you've got a high school diploma and that's it. They don't even tell you what the scores are that you made for your, on your different sections of your test. Now different programs may require, there are some programs that require you a minimum score like on math of a GED or a high set or a task in order to enter their program. That would be something different. But just in general, if someone asks you for a high school diploma, it does not indicate how many times you took it how many years you took it, what version you took, if you took paper, if you took computer, it doesn't even tell you, there's, doesn't tell them your scores. 